about the exchange of the different classrooms of teachers. Do you have an assessment on what are the exact consequences of this, especially that you also mentioned that there is a diminishing budget from that end? So, with a diminishing budget, how can this thing be addressed? Perhaps it's very important to consider that if the consequences are very dire, that we cannot address this problem, then perhaps the diminishing budget of our deficit should not be allowed. And we should be properly addressed. Uh, Mr. Secretary, do you have an assessment of what do you think are the consequences, or do we have a new state scenario if this thing cannot be properly addressed because the budget of that bed is so dangerously diminishing? Your Honor, I, I think um, 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 everyone in this room agrees that the population that is not literate and a population uh, uh, that is not educated really brings in a hundred other problems more than we can ever imagine. Uh, and, uh, uh, that, that goes into population, poverty, sickness, and, and, uh, and hopelessness. Um, and, and that's why in the program of the, the current administration, um, I have been very, very uh, hopeful because uh, the president's pronouncements, both in public, but even in, uh, in the, the cabinet meetings, have always emphasized that education is a flagship project. And I, I, I'd like to take his word for that. Um, um, he is his marching orders, uh, at least to the Department of Education, is to address the backlog in, uh, of the five essential inputs to education within a two-year period. Uh, the other source of great hope for us in the department is really the, the massive support and, and, and spirit of volunteerism that uh, we have received as early as day one with the department from many individuals, groups, and networks, both here and abroad. And uh, when we were doing our numbers, uh, uh, while the shortages seem to be very overwhelming, because this has been a product of decades of neglect, and, and we're trying to address this with a, 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 a team for our administration in a two-year period. Um, it is also challenging because it is a moving target. So what we will address in 2011, by 2012, there will be uh, a new population and new shortages to address. But uh, despite all that, I, I, uh, uh, we're, we're bullish that we will be able to achieve and address the shortages within a two-year period with the help of many partnerships, uh, especially with Congress, because our budget will be dependent on that. Thank you, uh, Mr. Secretary. So, despite the diminishing budget, we will be able to address this tremendous problem. Well, our, um, we will be receiving, I think, in two weeks' time, two weeks time the, the, uh, what they will present to Congress. Uh, our in, uh, current uh, 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 Guaranteed budget is either 200 billion higher than the 175 billion of the last year. Uh, but actually, we were requesting for uh, 220 billion. So uh, uh, I think that with the, we were very realistic, Your Honor. So uh, while we projected uh, and requested for a big budget, uh, we, we told ourselves that uh, whatever budget the national government gives us, we will use that as a leverage to bring in partners, both from industry, embassies, and private individuals. So we will try to stretch that as, as best we could, and I'm willing to be the, the professional vector for that, Your Honor.